Hey guys, Mario here from MTG Die, and this is Dr. By Day, Magic the Gather by Night, and today I'm opening up this bundle box. Lost Caverns of Ixalan bundle box just came out, new set from Magic the Gathering, um, of Magic the Gathering from Wizards of the Coast. Uh, bought this at my um, local game store, Vanguard Skills, High Annus, Massachusetts. Hit them up uh, if you need any kind of magic. Um, if you're in the Cape Cod area, if you're in Hyannis, and Friday nights, there's um, Draft. Um, they also have Pokemon, Lorcana, um, board games, miniatures. I mean, Sean has it all. So Vanguard Skills, Hyannis, Massachusetts. Just Google it, put in your GPS, Google Maps. Um, so I'm gonna open up the bundle for ya. Let's see, hopefully we get a mythic. Uh, hopefully we get multiple mythics, you know? some cool mythic cards in here so all right this is inside the box it's a uh thing here uh, flip continue your descent Ooh. yeah flip to continue your descent yep recover these lost artifacts to survive the depths of Ixalan. blow gun old tech ball ball torch whip all right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yep. And then this packaging, it's mostly uh, paper packaging. So, cut down on uh, waste and um, protect the environment. Right. Sorry, I'm opening this up off camera here. Uh, here's the box. Here's the booster packs comes with these two uh whatever packs life spin down cool i like it 20 19 18 17 16 15 so yeah, that's a pretty cool spin down i like to keep these boxes these uh um, Bundle boxes, I like to keep these bundle boxes, put like my uncommons, my um, rares from the certain sets. So then when I come back, I know where they came from. So a lot of these bundles have these little tokens, um, have these little picture cards. So uh, so this set, uh, the sub theme is um, Jurassic Park, but also Ixlan, which is very Mayan, Mayan culture. Um, so these, I usually don't open these. Hit the mother load is the card in here. It's four, red, red, red. Discover 10. If you discovered cards, mana value is less than 10. Create a number of tapped creature tokens equal to the difference. Yeah, so discover basically is you flip cards from top of your library until you find a card that less than the discover number. Uh, for this card actually so if you find something that costs five you make five tra tap treasure tokens with it uh, and then this card is life finds a way it's a green card two and a green enchantment whenever a non-token creature with power with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control populate that means create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. Okay, so you're making create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. So it's copying token, copy tokens rather than copying tokens. So that's from um, Jurassic Park. All right. Uh, sorry for the background noise. That's uh, my heater here. Um, it's getting cold here, New England. So I got a space heater in my little man cave. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight packs. Let's go through these set booster packs. Set booster packs. Pretty good. Uh, uh, I like set booster packs because they can have a lot. They have list cards too. So here's the art card. 
Here's our foil card. Here's our common, common, common. Here's our uncommons. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Earthshaker, Dreadmar. Here you go, another uncommon. Six for a six, six trample. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other dinosaur you control. Nice upgrade to Dreadmaw. Um, here we go, rare Malcolm, alluring scoundrel. Flash flying, one in a blue for a two one flash flying. When it enters, when it deals combat damage to a player, this is a rare. Put a chorus counter on it. Draw a card and discard a card. If there are four or more chorus counters on Malcolm, you may cast a discarded card without paying its mana cost. Cool. Uh, and then Intrepid Paleo Paleontologist is our, our another rare. One in a green. Tap, add one man of any color. Two exile target card from a graveyard. You may cast dinosaur creature spells from among cards you, you own exiled with Intrepid Paleontologist. If you cast a spell this way, that creature enters the battlefield with a finality counter on it. If a creature with a finality counter on it would die, exile it instead. So, two for a two two. Uh, and then this is our foil ancestral aid. Mm -hmm. Pack number two. Mm -hmm. Oops. Here's our token, gnome token. The gnomes in this set. It's our art card. Pretty cool. Yeah, let's get closer here. Hidden Volcano, common, 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 uncommon, Ulebach, the Great Mistake, Ukebeckenbach, the Great Mistake, three, blue, black, six, four, Vigilance Menace, descend eight, four, black, blue, return Ukenbach the Great Mistake from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it, activate only if there are eight or more more permanent cards in your, your graveyard. Vigilance Menace. Four Vigilance Menace, an uncommon. Uh, Pit of Offering, Zoyoa, Lava Tongue, uncommon. Sunbird Standard, uncommon. Hit the Mother Load, they're rare. Uh, discover 10, if the discovered card's mana value is less than 10, create a number of tapped creature, uh, treasure tokens equal to the difference. This is seven to cast. Um, to discover 10, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card with mana value 10 or less. Cast it without paying its mana cost and put it into your hand. Put the rest, or put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of the, in a random order. Oh, it says a non-land card. Oh, it doesn't have to be a permanent. It could be a spell. Hm, didn't realize that. I thought Discover 10 was only permanence, but Discover can actually hit non-permanence. Non hmm. That's news to me. Oh, cool, full art land. These are pretty cool, these full art lands. Uh, common, 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 common. Uncommon, Akawali, the Seething Tower. Synapse, Necromage, Tendril, Micro, whatever, Inverted Iceberg. This looks like a common. What is a common doing there? All right. Her rare is uh, Amalia Ben... Amalia Benavides Aguila, Aguirre, Aguirre. Vampire Scout 2 for a uh, one uh, white and a black. Ward pay 3 life. Whenever you gain life, um, Amelia... Explorers then destroy all other creatures if the power is exact if its power is exactly 20 That's a pretty good. Uh, I think that's good and constructed eaten by piranhas and map token eaten by piranhas is uncommon. Oh, maybe we get Ooh, there we go that signature there I'm trying to get a list card here Common, 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 uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. It's Quinnith.
firstborn of Gis Gisrath. Gishat. Uh, red and a green, 2 3, legendary creature, dinosaur, haste. And this is a battlefield, you may pay 2. When you do target dinosaur, you control deals damage equal to its power to another target creature. Nice. Uh, Restless Reef. Cool. Uh, this is a rare. It's a. Uh, this is a battlefield tap. Tap, add blue or black. Two blue, black. Until end of turn, it becomes a 4 4 blue and black shark creature with death touch. It's still a land. When attacks target player, mills four cards. And then Seeker of the Sunlight is our um, foil. Oh, this is the thing on this trash. Counters. Finality counters. Mm. All right, so that's the so the dual lands in this set are uh, they come into play tap, which is not good, but they also can turn into creatures. Ooh, gnome soldier, he's a better token than the regular gnome. Common, 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 uncommon, 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 uncommon. Walti, Poet of Unity, our first mythic. Yay. Two and a green for a 2 3. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Three, red, white, red, white, exile Hualti, then return it to the battlefield, transformed under her under her owner's control. Activate only as a sorcery. And here's when she comes at Roar of the Fifth People. One, create two, three, three green dinosaur creature tokens. Two, second turn, war of the fifth people gains creatures you control have tap, add red, green, or white. Three, search your library for a dinosaur card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle, and then turn four dinosaurs you control gain double strike and trample until end of turn. Wow. Double strike and trample? Wow. Two of the best abilities. <laughs> All right. A double mythic pack. Hell yeah. Galta Stampede Tyrant. Five for a green, green, green for a 12, 12 trample. In this battlefield, put any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. A thundering roar calls forth a primeval army. Woo. Nice. Galta. Upgraded. Galta got upgraded with this set. She's still a 12, 12. Tr 12, 12 trample. Brings an army with her. Victorious. Uh, common, 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 uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Captain Storm Liberator. That's uncommon. Fabrication Foundry. Uh, one in a white. Tap, add white, spend this mana, only cast artifact spells or activate abilities of an artifact source. Two in a white tap exile one or more other artifacts you control with total mana value X. Return target artifact card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Total mana value. So you can't use tokens like trade tokens. Oh, a rare foil rare. Warden of the Inner Sky. Is this a rare? Yeah, that's rare. I mean, that looks like a rare symbol there. Uh, Warden of the Inner Sky, Human Soldier, 1, 2 for 1 white. As long as it has 3 or more counters on it, it has flying and vigilance. Tap 3 untapped artifacts and or creatures you control. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Warden of the Inner Sky. Scry 1, activate only as a sorcery. Oh, Falmire Knight is our uh, list card. I love this card, actually. I love Falmire Knight. One for a 1-1 one, one death touch, and then you can do this instant. You may draw a card and lose one life. Heck yeah. All right, two packs to go. All right. Common, 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 uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. It's a common blade. Oh, Terratan Soul Cleaver. Terrians. Terrian Soul Cleaver. One 
For a legendary artifact equipment, legendary, the equipped creature has vigilance, equipped two. Whenever another artifact or creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on the equipped creature. An artifact or creature is put into a graveyard. So any artifact, wow. This is my new favorite vigilance equipment. Like I love vigilance for um, commander. Vigilance is probably really, really good for commander. The fact that you can swing out and then still have blockers is great and um the fact that tokens hit the battle hit the graveyard whenever you use them i mean if somebody use, is using a lot of treasure tokens i mean food token treasure tokens this is gonna help your creature get bigger heck yeah mm. that's uh common <laughs> last pack from this bundle come on mana crypt come on mana crypt yeah <laughs> Whatever. Uh, common, 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 uncommon, 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 uncommon. A rare is Tarion's journal. So that was his. Here's his journal. Tarion, he got around, or she. I'm not sure. Um, one in a black. Legendary artifact, tap, sacrifice another artifact or creature, draw a card, activate only as a sorcery. Two, tap, discard your hand, just transform the journal. The tomb of Akalzots. Tap for a black. Tap, you may cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield with a finality counter on it and is a vampire in addition to its other types. What? You can bring creatures back from your graveyard by just tapping this land? And this actually helps you by discarding your hand? Holy crap, that's good. Because, yeah. And finality counter just means next time it dies, it's exiled rather than going to your graveyard. And it's a vampire. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this for the va for vampire decks. Akawali, the seething tower. Just an uncommon. And then a bat token. Yeah. Look at that bat. Yuck. Bats have rabies. Don't touch a bat. Don't handle bats, kids. All right. So, let's see. Tarians. These artifacts, man, legendary artifacts, so unfortunately you can only have one of them at a time, but so good. Uh, so our two, we got two mythics though, Hualti and Galta. Um, don't sleep on these Soul Cleaver and Journal though. If you can find them cheap, get them cheap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comments section. Uh, sorry I was away for a while, but uh, kind of I've been busy with life. So uh, if you have any comments, let me know. If there's anything, um, any other content you want to see, let me know. Um, thanks for watching and talk to you guys next time.